The National Mall here in Washington, D.C. is one of the most visited parks in the United States, with more than 20 million people a year. It includes the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, and a reflecting pool that's hosted some of the nation's most historic events. It is also currently the site of an interactive exhibit featuring a landscape portrait that covers six acres. It is the work of Cuban-American artist Jorge Rodriguez Garada. It's called Out of Many, One, because it uses images of the diverse people that make up the capital city. He joins us here with more about this walkthrough art experience. Jorge, welcome. Thank you. How did you conceive the idea for this exhibit, and can you describe what people see? Well, I was contacted by the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery to present a project. And I thought about it for a while. And I think one of the important things for me growing up in New Jersey was uh, how, how important uh, my friends were and how diverse they were. And I really wanted to talk about diversity in a way that celebrated that. And uh, I presented that project to create a, a, a facescape, a, a large uh, portrait based on uh, about 30 people that I met walking on the National Mall. And it was uh, an amazing thing that we got, we got the permission. It ends up being uh, 2,000 tons of sand, 800 tons of soil, 10,000 wooden pegs, and eight miles of string line. Was the decision to place this exhibit by the reflecting pool, was it an intentional decision, or is there any symbolism attached to it? Because as we mentioned, it's such a historic place. Well, that really came about because of the fact that it was a place that was uh, being planned for, uh, to be reseeded. The Trust for the National Mall is uh, working very hard to make the, the National Mall green. And working with the, uh, the portrait gallery, uh, I, I gave a wish list of locations. And of all the locations that I um, asked uh, if, they were, if they were available, this was the one that was available. And it was a perfect location because it had uh, enough space to be able to do it very large. Because for me, it's important that the image is large enough that if uh, an image is taken from uh, an imaging satellite in space, um, you'd be able to still see it. So talk about how you chose the people that you photographed. What inspired you about them? What made you choose them? Well, it was very, very, it was really done at random. Uh, I spent about two weeks walking along the National Mall, you know, saw families coming by, and, and I would stop, uh, you know, I, I decided to do a young man this time. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because if I, if I mix it up, if I do men and women or children or, or people who are older, um, you don't get a realistic face. And I wanted to create a realistic face, even though it wasn't a face of a certain person, it was a face that looked real. Um, so the, the idea here was to just see who came by. And I got everything. I got you know, African American, Asian American, Eastern European. I mean, it just, it, the mix was huge. What have been some of the reactions that you've seen to this exhibit? Uh, what have you felt as, as people have reacted to it? It's been really positive. It's been very, very incredible. Just like any piece of artwork, not everybody's going to like it. Um, and that's understandable. The, the, you know, I think that the important thing here is how many people came together to make this happen. Um, you know, when we first started the conversation, everybody's just like, forget it. You know, you're never going to get permission. The National Park Service says no to everything. And, um, and understandably so. Uh, and I think that um, the fact that after the first uh, meetings, uh, my reasoning in, uh, and, and how I explained it and, and then all the beneficial parts of it as well, uh, the fact that it's all in-kind donations, um, it just worked out. It was a, it was a, a window of opportunity. It's, it was only eight months since that first contact email from the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. So it was really very, very quick, the turnaround. All right, Jorge Rodriguez Garada, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us.